Welcome. There's a delightful little puzzle, famous, been around for decades, uh, that asks the following. Here's the Earth. Da -da -da, here's the equator of the Earth. And show you the Earth. Let me just choose a country at random. There we go. The puzzle's the following. Suppose someone came along with a very long piece of rope and wrapped it around the equator of the Earth, snugly hitting the ground. So let's assume we're not going to worry about oceans and that the height of the Earth changes with mountains and so forth. Just the idea, imagine a perfect sphere wrapping a rope all the way around the equator. And then along comes someone else and adds 10 feet of rope to that length, which means, and they want to wrap that around the equator of the Earth again. But of course, with a little bit of extra slack, and I'm drawing a very big picture here, that extra bit of rope, that extra 10 feet, will give it a very minuscule bit of wiggle room. So imagine this second rope, 10 feet longer than the first, magically hovers just above the ground, let's not worry about issues of gravity and so forth, uh, to make another perfect circle above the equator. The question is, what is the gap, that little distance between the rope directly on the ground for the equator and the one that's just hovering above the ground? How big is that gap? Could I walk under it? Could I crawl under it? Could I roll under it? Or is it just not even humanly possible to get under it because it's so tiny? All right, that's all the information you have. And I'm not going to permit you to go to the internet to look up the radius of the Earth. I'm not going to permit you to go to anywhere, any book, any dictionary, any encyclopedia. All you've got is the information on, on hand right now. So the problem is you really want the radius of the Earth. Most, most people say we need to know the radius of the Earth. Well, you don't, and here's, how, here's why. Uh, let's see. We know that the circumference of the Earth is 2 pi times the radius of the Earth, whatever the radius is. And what we've done is we've added 10 feet of rope. And that is itself a little circle. Its radius is going to be the radius of the Earth plus g, we'll call g for the gap. So the, circumference, the original circumference plus an extra 10 feet is 2 pi times the radius plus the gap. That's the new radius. Well, let's see. I don't know what the circumference is, but I have a formula for it. It's 2 pi r. 2 pi r plus 10 feet is 2 pi r plus the gap. 2 pi r plus 10 is 2 pi r plus 2 pi g. And without even knowing the rays of the Earth, it cancels away. I'm left with the gap. 10 is 2 pi g. The gap is 5 over pi. And if I remember, that's about 1.6 feet. Now, what's astounding about that? 1.6 feet, 19 inches or something. Um, oh no, no, there's something like that. Um, that's, you could actually roll under that. You could get yourself under that. Adding a tiny 10 feet of rope to the length of the equator of the Earth produces a gap that hovers above the ground big enough for you to humanly get under. That is astounding. What's even more astounding if you think about this, never do we need the radius of the Earth. This means this whole calculation would work for the planet Mars with a different radius, or the planet Jupiter with a different radius, or even the planet the size of a pea. With a tiny radius, there'll still be 1.6 feet of gap. Basically, you can actually do this as a great exercise to do outside. Go get a piece of rope and draw yourself a big circle on the ground with, with chalk and so forth on the asphalt. And then once you've done that, Again, draw another circle by adding 10 feet of rope to the one you just created, stand around evenly about it, and you'll find that no matter what size circle you draw on the ground, be it the size of just a, a car tire or the size of a great big marking on a soccer field, this is always 1.6 feet. Now, notice, we proved that the gap is 5 over pi. I did a video on the value of pi for a square, and then I talked about pi for equilateral triangles and other shapes. What's amazing, and this is my exercise for you, suppose we did the same trick. Take a square, look at its perimeter, and add 10 feet of rope to its perimeter. And then take this new piece of rope 10 feet longer. So this is a perimeter P, and this dotted line is perimeter P plus 10. And ask yourself, what's the gap? The amazing thing is, you will find the gap is again 5 over pi, where pi is the appropriate value for a square. And in that video, we said that pi for a square is 4. Do it for an equilateral triangle. Add 10 feet to its perimeter and wrap that new rope around again. You'll find the size of that gap, again, is 5 over pi, where pi is the appropriate value, has the appropriate value for an equilateral triangle. That is astounding. Two astounding things in one little video. Fabulous. Thanks very much.